So we have looked at the first three sets of cards from the Lorcana series. Now we gotta look at the new set, Ursula's Return. I think it's interesting that they're focusing on just one character for like the name of the whole set whenever uh, there's gonna be tons of different franchises represented in this. So I don't know why they did that, but still interested to check it out. Oh, uh, this is a great one for Augustine. He's falling all over himself, but he's still in a good mood. We're still good. <laughs> I like the lighting on Alma here. Ooh, that's, that's really good. And all the butterflies, oh, that's good. Ooh, I like this Ariel. The, the water behind her looks so good. It's such a great rendition of that shot from the film. <laughs> oh, I like this Cinderella. I like how she's kind of coming out of the picture, like the top of her bun is above the black line and her hand is a little bit over that, um, that banner down there. It's like she's gonna pull you into the movie. She's pulling you into the story. She wants you to be a part of her adventure. I, I like that. <laughs> Cogsworth, we shall lead the way with all the utensils. <laughs> oh, I love this daisy. She waits there longing for her mighty mallard, her daring duck, Donald. <laughs> oh, she's a musketeer spy. I like that. It's like behind the scenes, almost like a Lion King one and a half thing. She was there like protecting our heroes the whole time. That's cool. Oh, I like this Donald. I love the, the background is so lush, you guys. Wow. I love that waterfall. Oh, this took me a second, but he's he's paying off Monsieur Lark to take her, to take Maurice to the asylum. Oh my gosh, you can do it. Ah! Oh, I love the reference to uh, Mickey and the Beanstalk here. The harp singing, luring Willie the Giant over. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, Goofy looks daring. <laughs> oh, this is a great one for Julieta. She's she's holding you in arepa, just like, welcome home, here's some food. Yep. Oh, they have one for the band concert. Yes. And everybody's up in the air like Horace Horse Collar and Clarabelle Cow. Yes. Ooh, I like this pose for Mickey. And also, Illusion to Three Musketeers. Seriously, guys, go watch this. It's better than it has any right to be. Ooh, Minnie becoming a musketeer too. I like that. Oh, I love her design here. Oh, that's that's cool. Oh, I like the style on Mirabelle here. It feels very warm and I really appreciate that. Oh, but this one feels cold and kind of almost sinister. She's putting the, the vision back together. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Pluto's gonna rescue us. <laughs> He's like one of those big St. Bernards that you see in the old cartoons that like carry that barrel of stuff on their neck to like help revive those in the snow. <laughs> okay, this, this Prince Eric's looking pretty heroic. Normally the princes, I'm like, okay, y'all are bland as all get out, but this one's kind of making me want a spinoff now with Eric going, I want to know your story. Where'd you come from? What's your deal? <laughs> oh, but here's Prince Eric like all hypnotized. Ooh, the plot thickens. Oh my gosh, what are these things floating around Stitch? I don't know what they are, but I love them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you've got Vanessa taking over the throne for Prince Eric. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Oh, and then he got Vanessa like stealing. Is she like stealing the voice from everybody in the castle? That's kind of crazy. And now that I see it, I kind of wish they did it in the movie now. That would have made things so much more interesting. <laughs> Not to say it wasn't interesting before, but dang. Oh, Bruno's all sheepish and shy. Oh, Bruno, we love you. Oh, lost in the woods. <laughs> I can already hear the song playing in my head. I would have kind of just gone past this, but it's the fact that Sven's antlers are like encapsulating the shot. It's the most Kristoff thing ever! Oh, I love Antonio with all of his animal friends. He's living my dream! I want to be friends with all the animals! Oh. My. Gosh. Remember how I said in a couple videos ago, Belle just made sense as an archer? She makes more sense as Mystic now! Look at this! Oh my, for a second there I'm like, is this Belle's villain origin? But no, she's just a mystic sage. Ah! Oh man, that, that's, our, that's now my favorite one of this deck so far. We'll see if it stays there, but it's my favorite one so far. Whoa, is this Belle like using her now mystical powers to like heal the beast after something went wrong? Just, oh gosh, I don't know what she's pulling out of him. No matter what she tried, Belle couldn't completely heal the beast's wounds. What was he wounded by? That's what I want to know. Oh my gosh, what is... 
There's so much here. I want to know so much. Whoa. That's a nice shot of Bruno. Oh, and it, there's like the doors behind him that are opening in the green swirlies. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. The undetected uncle. I love all the rats around him. <laughs> oh, I love the background. All the different swirling colors. It's just a cacophony of, of colors, which is represents the cacophony of sound that she always hears. Yes. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. Whoa. That's one of the most epic Elsas that we've gotten so far. Oh, I love the angle and the powers and the swirlies. Just yes. Whoa. This is like, these are some of the things that we saw on the beast earlier. It's just like some sort of like cursing that Ursula's doing that makes them look like weird barnacles and it's all over flotsam. Oh my gosh. Are they making a story with just the pictures? I need to know more, you guys. I need to know more. What? <laughs> what? What? These are the most epic shots of Flotsam and Jetsam ever. They're like... <laughs> they're like ghost smoke coming at... Oh my gosh, it's terrifying and I love it. Oh, I like that pose on Isabella, just, hmm. <laughs> oh, and then Jetsam's got the trident. So he got the crown and the trident. Ah, I'm, I'm, piece, I'm piecing together the story. Somehow the beast was intervening and like Ursula shot him and then Belle was trying to heal him. And while that was going on, Flotsam and Jetsam got the trident and the crown from King Triton. I'm putting together a story now, you guys. We're putting together a story. Wait, now luisa has got a big rock and there's like a, a pool over there that's shining green. Is that like Ursula's lair and she's gonna throw a rock on top of the lair? Is this one overarching story? Hello everyone, this is Brian from the future here. So um, in this video, you're gonna see me freak out about the fact that there's an overarching story within this deck, which, uh, yeah, there totally is. Um, but shortly after I filmed this video, I went to do a little more digging because I was curious. Not only is there an overarching story in this deck, but there's been one for every single deck thus far. And it took me this long to figure it out. <laughs> you can even go on the Lorcana website and they just tell you the story. That's a thing. <laughs> But there will be an upcoming video where we dive into those stories because I'm genuinely curious by them now. I, I think they're really cool. Back to me realizing this for the first time. Ah, and see, the magic broom is even picking up these barnacle things. There's a story here, you guys. There is a story. <laughs> I love this pose for Fifi on the tree like that. Ooh, this is a nice pose for Marshmallow. Just roaring like a giant kaiju titan. I love it. Oh, I love this Mrs. Potts. Like she's pouring a magic potion to heal the beast after he got hurt by the thing to help Belle heal him. And she like put magical stuff into the thing. I'm like piecing together a story now, you guys. <laughs> I love this for Peppa. <laughs> I'm gonna be real, that is, that's a gift that I would hate to have. I, I totally understand why Peppa is not not amused here. I don't know why, but I love the angle of TikTok here. As he's looking up to Captain Hook, just like, mm-hmm, any second now, I'm gonna get you, boy. <laughs> wow! Now the pieces are starting to come together. We finally see Ursula. Yes! After her flotsam, I can't rule Lorcana without the Hexwell crown. So she's gonna rule Lor Lorcana! I need to start reading these cards. Oh, I should go back and read some of those other cards so that I, I'm not reading the, the thing at the bottom of every card. I'm just looking at the pictures. I need to be reading this more. Whoa, now she's got the smoky flotsam and jetsam around her here. Oh, and she's putting on the Hexwell crown. I don't know what the Hexwell crown is. I'm assuming it's gonna be uh, another card later. Oh my gosh, there's a story. Ooh, I like this Yen Sid! All the swirlies coming from his hands. Oh, yes! Poor unfortunate souls! Oh, I like this second star to the right. Oh, that's cool. I like the angle of everything. Is they're like flying to the camera and then flying away. 
Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love this. Isabella swinging into action. It's the best way I can describe that. She's she's ready to go. Whoa, there's two Ursulas? Why are there two Ursulas? With both the crown and the trident together, we would be unstoppable. So who's this other Ursula? Rose Lantern, that's what Belle was using earlier. The transformed Rose made short work of the beast's wound, but even the gentlest magic comes out of cost. Ooh. So Beast had his injury, Belle didn't know how to cure it, so then she became, um, she got the magical Rose Lantern to try to heal it, and now she's gotta pay a cost. Disney, make this a freaking show! Triton's Trident, just imagine all the pow all this power in the wrong hands, like her hands. Aw, oh, Cricky, that's so cute. I love how we're going from this big dramatic story to like, aw, oh, cute Cricky. <laughs> Whoa, glowing green Diablo. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, I love Gunther from, <laughs> from I've Got a Dream Entangled. Oh, but wait, he's looking devious, like he's covering that trap door for a reason. Is this something that has to do with the big overarching story? Or is it just funny because it says in there, it's just like, I hate to cover the trap door, but it really pulls the room together. <laughs> it could go either way. I don't know now. Gus looks just so happy. Find someone who makes you as happy as Cheese makes Gus. Whoa, Hades. Oh my gosh, he's like blasting one Meg and like lifting up another. <laughs> oh, it's so creepy and crazy and I love it. Oh, hey, hey, it's eating like the messed up barnacle things. Oh, is that gonna turn him into something? Is he gonna turn into like some crazy monster chicken? Oh my gosh, is is Jacques like holding on to a string that's tied? Uh, there was a string tied around Gus, wasn't there? Oh my gosh, there is! He's holding on to the string! It's the two pictures together, that's awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Jasmine the Desert Warrior! That's like something you see in Assassin's Creed, I love that! <laughs> I've always been against the idea of giving like Disney characters like this big Smash Bros type game. But I don't know. If characters looked like this and like the magical bell we saw earlier and like Honey Wizard Poo, I might be tempted with that. Oh my gosh, I love the colors on Meg here as she's about to like turn the cherub around. <laughs> yes, oh, I love that. Oh, so Meg's got like this green butterfly here. Is is that green butterfly one of the butterflies from Encanto? Is this starting to become a connected story too? Or am I just finding connections where there aren't any connections? I could totally be. <laughs> I love Foul for Pain. They have Panic's horn stuck in his butt. <laughs> That's good. And it's the continued picture from before. <laughs> Cause you see the horn stuck in his butt. <laughs> I love it when they connect pictures like that. That's so cool. Whoa, Cloud Racer Pegasus. Oh, I love this. I love his mask and his armor. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this angle for Pete with the purple coming down. Oh, with Born. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Pete does not get enough love. So any Pete love, I'm, I'm happy to share. That, that's so cool. Ooh, and then you've got Pete as king. I just said Pete doesn't get enough love and here you go. Here's more love for Pete. Okay, it's less of a surprise to see uh, Prince Philip and his horse all decked out in armor. It's still pretty cool, but it's not as like shocking as when you see it on another character because he was basically already a knight. I do like the lighting here and I like seeing like the silhouettes of like all the goons coming after Prince Philip here. That's pretty cool. Ah, the muses with the pots. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love I love the lights behind them. It really gets your attention. I love that. Oh, Tor the florist. Tor would like to quit and be a florist. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And I love the skull in his uh, in his. Uh, his arrangement there. Ursula's trickery? Hang on a second, because this is an Ursula with like different colors in her hair. So that's like a different Ursula than the other Ursula and she's like, oh my gosh, how dare you double cross me, Ursula shouted, lunging at the other glimmer. It's a glimmer. Did I miss something before? Okay, so I was going back through some of the cards to see if there's stuff I missed. Here's one for Elsa. After Elsa dispersed Ursula's storm, Anna was nowhere to be found. So. Elsa's involved in this too. And the purple is like her, and then they can't find Anna. And is that why we had the Lost in the Woods card? And, <laughs> and Kristoff is legitimately looking for Anna? I need to double check that card. It doesn't specifically say it, but I totally could work. I'm left behind wondering if I should follow because they can't find Anna. Oh my gosh. On this one, now the crown and the trident are mine. 
Okay, okay. He snatched the trident from the betrayed Glimmer. So this happens after Ursula attached, attacks the Glimmer. I don't know what a Glimmer is, but I bet we're gonna figure out as we go. Oh, I like that we don't talk about Bruno with the rats around him and the green, which is very his color. Hidden ink caster. It looks like it's been here forever, Flounder says. Huh. That must mean something to the story. I would love to help you, but of course there's the little matter of the contract. Oh, because it's got the two Ursulas at the bottom. There was something that got signed with the two Ursulas at the bottom. Oh my gosh! Now Bruno's involved! Because look, that's Ursula's lair, and Bruno is like covered in, what are those tentacles? And if it's this Tio Bruno, what's happening to him? We have to help Mirabelle. Okay, so maybe Luisa was ra raising a rock to like stop. Oh, this is... So this is like memento. I got to piece together a story as we go. The Hidden Cove, Flounder, this is perfect. I can't wait to explore it. Oh, so Ariel was here in the Hidden Cove exploring around and then found the uh, the Inkwell staff thing. Okay, okay. Oh, this is what Beast was fighting. Cause look, his leg is messed up. Oh my gosh, it's all coming together. It wasn't the severity of the wounds, but the sickly substance that caused such unbearable pain. I think it's Flotsam and Jetsam, like the, the like, like the shadow of Flotsam and Jetsam. You see, oh my gosh, so much is happening. <gasps> Chief Benja, we must work together to heal the entangled. Raya's is involved in this too. Fazu, I'm ready to serve the emperor. I don't know if that's just an allusion to the movie or he's gonna help fight Ursula too. But either way, it's, it's cool, it's a cool card. <laughs> I like that, Flynn. You guys look busy, I'll just keep an eye on this lore for you. Ooh, does he know something about the lore that we don't? I think lore is something that you actually use in the game of lore kind of, so that makes sense. <laughs> I love the super goof. <laughs> super goof! <laughs> oh, poor Hercules. He's, he's ruining everything as he's just trying to catch the discus. Oh, but now he went from clumsy kid to daring demigod! <laughs> Whoa, what is this around Khan? As silent as a shadow and faster than the wind, brave Khan, the mightiest stallion. Oh, is he avoiding stuff from Ursula? His training was unsurpassed, but it was his courage that would see him through this fight. I swear, this is like Flotsam and Jetsam, like the weird shadowy versions of him. Whoa! Li Shang went all anime on me. Oh my gosh! Lumiere, the invaders are at our gates, mes amis. It's time to show them what we are made of. Oh, is it them fighting back against Ursula? Whoa! Mulan looks epic as an elite archer! Oh my gosh, it looks awesome! See, she's fighting the shadows too! Ursula's messengers fled, so it was Flotsam and Jetsam, leaving behind tendrils of dark ink. What is this story? Oh, Nessus from Hercules. Oh, he was a really cool character. I love that pose for him. He sent the eels away when they came with the sea witch's offer. He didn't need help making trouble. Oh, so she tried to recruit Nessus. Wow. Oh, no. Wait, is that, is that Ursula's stuff behind her? Fortune favors the bold, no matter how small. Oh, that, that has to be Ursula's stuff. Raya, fierce protector. Oh, I love that angle and like her hands coming down. It almost looks like she's moving so quickly, like there's smoke following her because of how fast she's going. Or it could just be from, you know, the town on fire behind her. That That's probably the more logical reason, but I like my interpretation too. Ah, see here, now they're fighting Ursula things. There are too many of them for me, but not for us. Oh, so Namari teamed up with Raya to help fight some Ursula things. Okay, that makes more sense based on where Raya ended. Okay, cool. Oh, I like human Sisu here. Come on, what's the worst that can happen? Ursula's gonna try to take over Lorcana. That's the worst that's gonna happen. Oh, so Sisu's came in to fight too. Sometimes the only way to fight the unimaginable is with the incredible. Hmm, emboldened warrior. Ooh, I like the glow from her. That's really cool. Oh, she's a water dragon. Oh, that looks so cool. All the water, like she's made of water. I love that so much. <laughs> I like Tong as he's like smashing through the bamboo. <laughs> oh, Tuk Tuk looks so cute here. You got the big old eyes. Oh, I love this scar with the, the rocks cracking from underneath them as you see the red glow from the magma beneath. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Brawl, and <laughs> they threw Shorty out the window. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> okay. Here's Anna, we, we, it said she was missing before. After talking to Olaf, Anna marched into the unexpected storm to save Kristoff. But I mean, that's what happened in the movie. Is this part of the Ursula plot? Cause her swirly's behind. That makes me think that's Ursula. 
Or maybe this is before she got lost from Elsa? I'm confused. Oh, I love this. So many Disney characters are like D&D characters. Look at her, she got this crazy armor. Ooh, I love this Aurora. I love like the dress she got and the magical swirlies and like, oh, there's like even a spinning wheel back there. It's, she's so magical now. She's the lore guardian. Oh, oh, that's cool. Aurora Tranquil Princess. She's like a bard. She's like a bard just hanging out in the forest and singing songs with her harp. Ooh, thank you. Look at like the light coming off of her. You can find villainy in the most unexpected places. And you're not wrong. Oh, I love this of her mom. When far from home, Mulan often thinks of her calming presence. Aw, but wait, what's that behind her? It's like swirlies from Ursula's magic coming in. Mulan, you better, you better, you better go save China and Lorcana and everything else we're fighting for, apparently. Okay, so we've got Flounder. So earlier he was showing Ariel something with that like inkwell staff thing. Oh, okay, here's something, Hades is involved. This neat little scheme has Ursula's tentacles all over it, that sneaky sea witch. Wait, I can use this. She can keep those obnoxious Illumineers busy while I roll out my plan. Illumineers, who are the Illumineers? Okay, Hans. Hans was confident he could bring Anna to Ursula. All he needed was something of Kristoff to lure her in. She had the hat a second ago. Hans had the hat, gave it to Anna to tell him like, oh, something's wrong with Kristoff. So she's going to go try to find Kristoff in the middle of a storm. And then Elsa comes in and stops the storm. But at that point, Anna's already gone. I'm putting together the story, you guys. So Ursula's kidnapped Anna. I know I was supposed to be commenting on all the artwork for the cards, but now I'm engrossed in the story. Whoa! John Silver's arm is epic! Strange things be at the edge of the map. See which is entangled glimmers and whatnot. I'll stay with me ship, thank you. So he's not getting involved. I don't blame you, bro. But that arm is sick. Oh, Olaf as a carrot enthusiast. He's a little sled. Oh, cause Anna did talk to Olaf before she got lost in the, in the, oh, okay. Is she gonna talk to Olaf about something? <gasps> okay, here we go, here we go. We're getting more of the story. Isn't this Kristoff's hat? If he went this way, he'll be caught in that storm. And it's the storm that Ursula's making. Oh, I like this Pascal as he's like changing colors between each of the magnifying glasses. That's so cool. Oh, I love this Rapunzel. She's just out and about getting all of the different uh, drawings of the plants around the, around the forest. Oh, and there's a hidden Mickey behind her. I just saw that. Ooh, Scuttle found something. Wow, this is special. This is very unusual. <laughs> Oh, that's gotta be something from Ursula. I don't know what that is, but I like the lighting of this artwork though. <laughs> Whoa, the evil queen, look at this. Look at like her suit. She's like a super villain in a, in a Marvel movie now. This is awesome. Oh, the castle stove. I remember this guy from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, the Mrs. Potts says a good hot meal will set you right as rain. She might be saying that to the beast because Belle couldn't fully heal him. Oh, that could be connected. King Triton! Look at that! Oh my gosh! That's so cool, the champion of Atlantica. With like narwhal dolphins! <laughs> I mean, I know the horn is just on the helmet, but it makes them kind of look like narwhals. Oh, King Triton, if this is the only way, so be it. Oh, is he trying to fight Ursula in this scene? I know it's the same thing when he destroys like Ariel's grotto, but I didn't know if that was part of the story here. Whoa, it's young Triton! I always forget he has like red beard and red hair, which makes sense because you know, Ariel, but none of her sisters have red hair, so I always forget that he's got it. Oh, Maurice is the steampunk mechanic again. Oh gosh, I love that. Oh, see, Ariel, she's got the thing. She's got the thing from earlier. Editing Brian, say what it was. I, I forgot what it was called. Cause she found it with flounder and that must do something to like spark something. Ariel's grotto, I don't see anything in here. Oh, it's also sideways. I don't see anything in here. Wait, is that the, is that the thing that Maurice was building? So something got built, something got built in here and that like opened up like a portal somewhere. It looks like, and it's like the sun is open. What is this? Is this what was on fire from Raya? Aladdin's riding an elephant, and the elephant's breaking down a pillar. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> oh, Aladdin's cool too, but elephant. <laughs> oh, I see the swirls from like Ursula's magic. Looks like you got some big feelings there, buddy. Let's stomp them out. Oh, so Hades doesn't want Ursula to take over Lorcana. I think he wants to do that himself. Oh, I love this Ar Ariel looking longingly towards Prince Eric's castle. 
Everything she's ever wanted is almost in reach. Oh, look at this! It's Ariel Aquaman! <laughs> it's Aqua Woman, Ariel! <laughs> is she gonna use this to help take down Ursula? Ooh, this beast, like, smashing up all the wood. Yes, oh, it's so cool! <laughs> Shifu with all the Ursula magic. You there, keep that fighting away from here. It's imperative that I write to the Emperor. <laughs> Ooh, Chin Po is coming to fight. I love the lighting in this, all the fire. Oh, he looks so cool. Ooh, that angle of LeFou. I've never seen him so menacing before. Okay. And then we also got Ling here. Oh, is this another one? Like Chin Pao's in the middle, like Ling's on one side and then Yao's gonna be on another because it has the exact same lighting. It's so, like you could put all three of those pictures together and it'd make one big picture. I bet it does. <gasps> oh, Luisa. There's no way Ursula's creatures are getting to that donkey. Do they want the donkey? Why do they want the donkey? But I see yeah, all the Ursula stuff behind her. Magic broom, aerial cleaner. It spends its days cleaning the treasured glimmers in the hall of Lorcana sparkling clean. Glimmers, so glimmers, if these are the glimmers, so like the, the lamp from Aladdin, the seashell from Little Mermaid, so maybe like the shell, like the, 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 the magic broom, like apparently like broke this or something, the glimmer got out and like somehow manifested into Vanessa without Ursula being involved. And then she was able to like steal stuff from Prince Eric's castle, take him over and then take all of her powers to go down and meet with the real Ursula, make a deal with her to like take over all of Lorcana. But then instead of that actually working out, the original Ursula figured out it was a trick and like destroyed the fake Ursula. But before the fake Ursula could do all of her stuff, she like messed with all these different characters in Lorcana. I'm not positive that's how the story goes, but that's what I'm piecing together from this. Ooh, Magic Broom Brigade Commander. Oh, are they leading a fight against Ursula too because it was their fault that the that Ursula got released in the first place? Y'all, there's this big story here. Oh man, we got Mickey Mouse, the playful sorcerer. Is he working with the brooms to try to help stop Ursula? Oh, he's leading the charge. That's what's going on. Oh, I love the background for Phil here with all the clouds. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Oh, I love Piglet. He's good. He's all dressed up to be a big swordsman. <laughs> oh, you go on your adventure, Piglet. You're so big. You're so brave and big and strong. Oh, I love Raja with like all the guards running out in front of him. Just like, ah! <laughs> yes. Oh, this would totally line up with Chin Pao and Ling. Oh my gosh. That's, that's, I love it when they do that. Oh, I love this one last hope. Everything from the song is like right there. The big thing to come down and fall on them. The ax is swinging, the sharks, the, the guys shooting the arrows with the targets on them and the big chomper thing at the bottom. Dang, and the firing. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I love this view of the mob song. Like everyone's bracing the door like, ah! <laughs> Oh, Triton's coming in to try to stop Ursula. Ursula's foul creatures are not welcome in my kingdom. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this enchanted Cinderella, all the golden swirls. Oh, Minnie is the, is the three musketeers champion enchanted. That's so cool. Also, this must be the fake Ursula when she got the crown to then like make herself super powerful. I think that's what it is. I'm not positive on the story, but the story sounds really cool. Oh my gosh, Yen Sid looks so focused on this butterfly, like, yes, it will make you amazing. I don't know why he's on like plankton. <laughs> oh my gosh, Diablo looks even crazier. <laughs> ah, Desert Warrior Jasmine, but even more like epic. I love it. Oh, this Bruno though. This Bruno though. Oh my gosh, Super Goof looks like the Flash in this pose. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the water Sisu again, but all enchanted. I love it. Yes, I'm in the true heart. Oh, these are so cool, you guys. The Queen with more evil swirlies. We've got Aquaman Ariel again. Yes. Oh my gosh, we've got Piglet again. <laughs> They look so epic, I love it. Okay, so overall, I think I like the artwork better from some of the other series, but the fact they have this giant story that most of the cards like connect to, that is so freaking cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. And big thank you to all of my Patreons. Without you, this channel wouldn't be what it is today. Thank you so much.